Hey guys, thank you for joining me. Um, today's tutorial is going to be um, part of um, my Halloween, I guess, thing that I'm doing. Um, Halloween is my favorite, favorite month. I mean, October is my favorite month, but Halloween, I look, um, I'm, it's the month I mostly look forward to uh, because I love dressing up and it's, of course, my birthday month. Uh, if you would like to watch, and see how I do this tutorial. Keep on watching. I'm gonna start by applying my primer. Okay, and this is the Urban Decay one, Eden, which I'm sure you guys have heard me say a lot. <laughs> like the original too. So we're gonna go ahead and start with our eyebrows. Okay, I'm gonna be using my Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Brow Powder in Medium Brown. It's a pinup look, so it's very important for you to define your uh, brows really well. Back then they used to do it very sharp, so if you don't like doing the sharp brows, it's just for a look. You're not gonna do it every day. So just go ahead and grab a pencil, okay? And I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Perfect brow pencil, medium ash slap, slash medium brown. Um, it's a little one. <laughs> it's really good actually. I really like it. Okay, so you're gonna trace your brow. I'm gonna grab this one. Um, so we'll see how that works. Okay, and always have a little napkin next to you um, so you can wipe your brush with it. This is a fun look, really fun, one of my favorites. I wasn't actually going to do a look like this for Halloween, but since it was requested, I did it. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and sharpen our brows. Okay, now it's gonna look weird first, but it's gonna blend in, okay? Don't be afraid. Okay, so now you see how it's just making my brows a little sharp. That's the whole beauty of it. Okay. And I'm doing it with foundation. Like I said, you guys, I am not a fan of the concealer thing. I don't know why, I just don't find it pretty. That's just me though, you know, to each his own. Everybody, there's some girls that do it and they do an amazing job, but there's some that do it, but looks, I don't like it, I'm not a fan. time with the eyebrows those are one of the most important keys of this look then go ahead and take your middle finger that has a little more of strength okay and clean it up actually just blend it into your skin okay go ahead and move on we're gonna highlight I'm gonna use a pencil highlighter. This is from Chella. Um, it's actually really, really good. And I'm gonna go ahead and highlight my whole brow, but just under. Okay. Now remember, we're doing all this because this is a look if you'll be if you will go ahead and dress up um 
if you want to use it as an everyday look you could go ahead and do it okay so i'm gonna go ahead and highlight Ooh, it's raining really hard here I'm gonna go ahead and highlight my brow bone and I'm gonna take um, blank type uh, blank type is a very it's not a very light color it has a little bit of shimmer on it and I'm not gonna highlight all the way I'm just gonna stay here okay it's coming down really hard let me take you guys so you can see how bad is right now yeah I guess I picked a bad time to film <laughs> I really hope you guys don't mind um, um, the noise of the rain um, a light brown not super light but um, let me try this one okay and you're gonna trace your crease now you're not gonna start from here because you don't want to close the eye you're just gonna do the line up to here okay so you guys know what I'm saying Okay, so you're gonna start from here. Okay. You're gonna trace your crease. And you're not gonna come down. You're just gonna stay up here. Okay. For this look, um, every time I've done um, a retro pinup, um, I've always used my Naked Pigment from MAC and it looks like that and this is actually a sample I asked from MAC and um, they gave me a lot so I didn't have the need to buy one <laughs> because they gave me so much you're gonna go ahead and apply it and you hold it all the way from the end Okay, and this color is beautiful. Um, if you don't have a naked, if you don't have the naked pigment from MAC, you could use a semi uh, light, light brown, um, very light brown. But this one has a little bit, just a little bit of sheen in it. That's why it's so beautiful. So you see how it's looking? Okay, we're gonna bring it out a little bit because we're gonna try to make our eyes look bigger. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and take my gel eyeliner, okay? And I'm going to use my handy dandy brush. I love this brush. This is actually a painting brush. Um, I got it at Michael's and I don't know what brand this is. This is not good because I want to go back. But it's the it's it just says angle comb. But I mean, I need a new one because I use this one so much. So when I go, I'll just take it with me. Um, but it's a painting brush, so I guess that's why it makes my eyeliner better. I don't know. It was very inexpensive. I start actually in the middle. okay to deposit the color and I go in I remember you just putting the color there um, okay so then after that don't tug on your eye just press it very gently, okay? Because um, tugging is bad for your eye. Sometimes I do it, I'm guilty, but sometimes I I, um, I realize that I'm doing it too hard. Okay, then I'm gonna continue. Okay. Okay, 
row ends there. Now this is another easy way to do it. You could just get a brush, just trace where you want it, and apply the color. Okay, now that helps you um, with your tracing, okay? Um, that's one of the easiest ways to learn how to do it. Okay. So that you're gonna grab, you're gonna make like a triangle. And you're just gonna continue and fill it in. Now I want my liner to be a little thicker uh, so it could go with the shape of my face. Well, I always like my liner a little thicker. You're gonna close your eye. Just take it. Okay. So there's my liner. Oh, a little water yet. That's my liner. Um, okay, so just remember, um, have a lot of patience, okay, because you will mess up. Okay, but it comes out great, so don't give up. <laughs> okay, I went ahead and put some mascara, and of course I use my voluminous um, mascara from L'Oreal, and I just love this mascara. Okay, so um, I finished applying my foundation and my concealer, uh, I cover some imperfections, I contour with my, so it could be an exaggerated contour. Um, I contour with blunt. Anyway, blunt for MAC, so it could be an exaggerated line. So hopefully you guys can see it. I really like this highlighter. It's from Hard Candy and it's Tiki. Okay, after that, I'm um, gonna put some blush on. Um, this one is Peaches from uh, I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips. I'm using Jordana. This one's actually really good. Jordana uh, Lip Pencil and Red Sedona. This one's Red Velvet. So my lips could be a little more smooth. I'm gonna apply um, eye cream on my lips. I know it's funny when you make those faces when you're applying this. It gets horrible. <laughs> You're gonna get your concealer and the same brush that you used before. I like this one because it's very, it's very, very good. Okay, and you're gonna trace your lips. So it could be a sharp red lip. So I went ahead and I traced my whole lip. Um, 
I'm just gonna go ahead and blend it out and then set it with powder and then I'll be back. And thank you so much guys and peace, love and lipstick.